Hi, I'm Kate Sargent from the Department of Primary Industries in Victoria. I'm the Evergrace Project Leader for the Future Farm Industry CRC. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Evergrace Feed Budget and Rotation Planner to allocate mobs to different rotations in a grazing system. So the first thing you have to do is to map your farm. So here I've got my parents' farm and I've mapped that out uh, with the different pasture types and land classes across the farm. So the first thing is I've got uh, Phalaris here in the pink and then I've got my um, native country in the green and brown for the north and south facing country respectively. Uh, red is my unimproved pastures but yeah most of my pa most of my pastures are either sown down to Phalaris or their native country. Okay so I've got that sorted. Now the next step is to determine your mobs. So I've got my mobs listed here and I've got two ewe mobs and a maiden ewe mob and then I've got my cows and my weathers. So allocating my mobs to different pasture types is basically a process of working out what they need. So I'm going to put my ewes and my maiden ewes on my Phalaris country in the lead up to lambing because it's important that I maintain condition at that time. My cows uh, they can be allocated to native and Phalaris and my weathers they can just be allocated to the native country. So this is just for my winter ro rotations so it's important to realize that when I'm allocating these mobs to pastures during this time during June and July when I'm lambing in August I want to make sure I've actually got some pastures left over for to lamb onto. Alright so I want to just have a look at my maiden ewes and work out how many hectares they require. So going back into the rotation planner we've got data entry and I want to know how many hectares do I need. Okay so first of all the current food on offer. So at the start of winter how much pasture am I going to have? Table 6 gives me a bit of a guide. So on my best Phalaris country I think at that time of the year I'm going to have about uh, three centimetres of green pasture. Uh, it'll be about a moderate density, so approximately a thousand kilos. You can also use the Lifetime Wool website to determine how much pasture you've got using the, fo the Foo Gallery. So in the Foo Gallery you can see here that 1100 kilos is approximately uh, what my thousand kilos will look like that I've put into the rotation planner. Okay, so a thousand kilos. The desired food on offer when I take the stock out of the paddock. Alright, well, I'm going to try and maintain the pasture for this in this particular case, but just let's have a look at how much the animals actually need. So when they're in uh, pregnant, when they're pregnant, uh, at 75% digestibility, so good pasture quality, during the last month they require 700 kilos per hectare as a minimum. But when they're lactating, uh, they're going to require either a thousand or fifteen hundred. So provided I've got somewhere else on the farm that I'm saving up for them to lamb onto, then I probably can get away with uh, grazing it down to about a thousand kilos, knowing that at some point I'm probably going to have to put the ewes on on this good country as well. So let's just have a look at the impact on pasture growth here of what I what I graze it down to. So you can see here on the MLA pasture ruler that if I keep my pastures above 1200 and below 2200 they're likely to maximize their growth. So um, it's important that I do actually maintain the the maximum growth rate of these pastures through this time in the lead up to lambing and so I don't want to graze them too low. The other consideration is how much uh, to graze them down to to maximize persistence. So you can see here that to maximize persistence I really want to ma make sure I don't graze below 800 kilos per hectare and that's very important for my Phalaris pastures. Okay so going back to the rotation planner I'm not going to graze below 800 kilos and I think I want to try and leave it above about a thousand kilos per hectare. Alright the pasture quality is about 75% and the consumption wastage factor is about 30 percent. Consumption wastage factor is how much you foul, the, the animals are fouling or trampling the pasture and 30 percent is a pretty common figure to use. 
the decay wastage factor is only useful for summer and, and late spring when we've actually got pastures senescing or shriveling up and drying off, blowing away, etc. So we leave that one at zero. The pasture growth, well, I said before that my pasture growth was about 20 kilos per hectare per day on my Phalaris pastures. I know that because I've measured the pastures at the farm over the years and so approximately at that time of the year that's what we tend to get. However, Table 7 does give you a, a guide for Southern Australia as to what your pastures are likely to be. Um, so a good pasture during June uh, will be around the 20, 20 kilos per hectare and through July about 15. The Making More From Sheep website also gives you a, a bit of a guide for different regions and different pasture types as to how much your pasture will be growing. So in terms of pasture growth, I'm going to say it's 20. And the number of days I want to leave the animals in the paddock, well, I'm just estimating here through June and July, so 60 days. Okay, so then I have to say what my animal consumption is. So I've got ewes and they're about 50 kilos and they're dry and the number of animals grazing the paddock I said was 800. Okay, so therefore the number of hectares that I'm going to require for these animals is 65 hectares. So if I just go back to my farm map and have a look at my Phalaris pastures, whoops, sorry, I'm having a look at my Phalaris pastures here and you can see that um, the Phalaris is in the pink and uh, this, is the, this is the area that I would like to graze my animals around. So I'm just going to get the ruler out and determine, actually I might just zoom in a little bit here so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, so get the ruler out and I'm going to measure this area here just roughly I'll go right across to there alright so 55.8 hectares is in this this area here so what did I say I needed Okay, so I said I needed to have 65 hectares, so I'd probably need to find one more paddock for those animals. So that's how you use the feed budget rotation planner combined with farm mapping to determine how many hectares you need for each mob in a rotational grazing system. For further information, go to the Evergraze website at www.evergraze.com.au. Thank you.